We have intelligence from multiple sources, including our allies and our own intelligence that indicates that the plane was shut down by an Iranian surface-to-air missile. This may well have been unintentional. In this new, this new information reinforces the need for a thorough investigation of this matter. As the Prime Minister said today, Canadians have questions and they deserve answers. I would add to that that the world has questions and that the world expects answers. And Canada will seek those responsibles to provide those answers. Dominic Rabb and I discussed the ongoing situation in the Middle East. This is of grave concern to us both. Canada and the UK are in agreement on the need for de-escalation. I made the case that Canada had the legitimate need to access. We want to send our quick reaction team, obviously, on the ground to be able to provide consular services. I did stress that Canadians and Canada has a legitimate need and concern with respect to the investigation, that we wanted to bring Canada's expertise and Canada's commitment to be an active participant in the investigation. We agree uh, with the Canadian assessment that indicates that Ukrainian International Airlines flight was shot down by an Iranian surface-to-air missile. And as uh, Francois-Philippe said, it may well have been unintentional. Our view on the crash underlines why we urgently now need uh, an independent, full and transparent investigation to establish what caused it. The Iranian regime must open up to the international community, including access to the crash site, so we can get the truth as quickly as possible to give the families of the victims an understanding of what happened to their loved ones. We condemn the attack on Iraqi military bases, hosting coalition, including British forces, and we, we urge Iran not to repeat the reckless and dangerous attacks and rather pursue the urgent de-escalation and a return to diplomatic dialogue.